Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 1.8, Problem 3. This is Section 1.8, Problem 3. It says, Harold is assembling seven wooden boxes. Each box requires six screws. If he purchases a box of 100 screws, how many will he have left when he is done making the boxes? So this is a practical sort of a problem. So a little bit of a visual will help. He's assembling seven wooden boxes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each one of those seven boxes requires six screws. So first, let's figure out how many screws he's going to need. So this is a multiplication problem. Six screws for each box times seven boxes means he will need to use 42 screws to assemble the wooden boxes that he's making. Now, if he purchases a box of 100 screws, this is a small box of screws, and he will use up 42 of the screws to make the boxes. Let's subtract the 42 away from the 100 screws that come in the box, and you'll see that it should come out to 58. So now when you start the subtraction, I want to subtract 0 minus 2. Well, 0 is not big enough, so I want to borrow, but if I go over one column to the left, I have another zero, so I can't borrow from that. So I have to go over yet another column. I find a non-zero digit, which is a one. I cross that off, reduce it by one, it goes down to a zero. So now I can make the zero in the middle into a 10 and borrow from it. So once I make it a 10, I cross it off immediately, reduce it down to a nine, and then the far right zero of the 100. Now I can make that into a 10. Now I can go ahead and subtract. So in the far right column, I have 10 minus 2, which is 8. In the next column over to the left, I have 9 minus 4, which is 5. And then there was one more column to the left, but when I borrowed, I zeroed it out. So I'm actually done. And it does come out to 58. So when he's done assembling the boxes, there'll be 58 screws left in the box.